During the construction of Marina Bay Sands in Singapore, engineers had to face such a challenge that they had never imagined. According to the building design, a sky park was going to be built on top of three towers, whose size was supposed to be larger than the United States Navy's Nimitz aircraft carrier. But when it was time for the construction of the sky park, engineers found a major fault in the building design. The fault was that the three buildings might swing up to 200 millimeters during a tornado. If the sky park was built despite this fault, then the swimming pool filled with one. Five million liters of water might get cracked. The destruction it would cause is unimaginable. On the one hand, years of hard work and millions of dollars were spent on this project. On the other hand, dropping the idea of the sky park would be like compromising with the beauty of the entire structure. They needed to find a solution that would keep the Sky Park safe despite the swinging of the building during strong winds. This was such a serious issue that the entire construction and architecture team was anxious. But a miracle happened. Singapore is a country which is only one city. Singapore. The entire country is so compact that it is slightly larger than Toronto, Canada, but could fit nearly twice within Berlin, Germany. Marina Bay Sands is one of the most complicated construction projects in the entire world, and that's why it is called an engineering masterpiece. Engineers had to construct not one, but three buildings whose one portion was going to be bent and that too, taking support from the other portion. The project costing $8 billion had three buildings 680 feet high, a sky park bigger than an aircraft carrier, a 200 feet high arts museum, and a floating entertainment pavilion, all built over water. The cost at which Marina Bay Sands was built, five Burj Khalifa-like buildings could have been made. The labor and hard work to make this masterpiece involves 16,500 workers who work together. Construction workers and engineers faced many challenges, from laying the foundation on soft and wet soil near the seashore to constructing a curved-shaped structure and a unique sky park over it. This wasn't just the first challenge of their lives, but no construction project in the past had faced this kind of challenge. American business tycoon Sheldon Adelson, owner of Las Vegas Sands Corporation, was behind the project. He wanted to build something that would become the identity of Singapore. For such a project, the design had to be unique, and there was no better option than architect Moshe Safdie. After months of hard work, Safdie presented his design. But this design presented a big challenge for the construction team. According to them, it would take at least seven years to complete the project, but Adelson wanted it done in three years. The site chosen for the construction work was full of soft clay due to its proximity to the sea. Engineers call this marine clay. It's soft, difficult to walk on, and nearly impossible to build on unless it's treated. Marine clay was known to cause disasters in the past like the collapse on Singapore's Nickel Highway. Engineers decided to build a 1.5 meter thick diaphragm wall. A diaphragm wall is a reinforced concrete barrier built underground to support excavations and block water seepage. To construct it, a narrow trench is dug and filled with stabilizing fluid. Steel rebar cages are lowered and concrete is poured displacing the fluid. Multiple sections connect to form a continuous wall. This 1.5 meters thick diaphragm wall helped to prevent soft clay from collapsing inward and also created a dry workspace for foundation workers. Total length of diaphragm wall is 4,000 meters and it took them one year to remove the marine clay and stabilize the foundation. To meet the tight deadlines, the team hired a staggering 16,500 workforce who worked day 
and night and shifts. Managing this workforce was no easy task. The workers needed to be fed, and for this purpose, the world's biggest canteen was created. Just to prepare one meal, the construction management spent $82,500. The complication with the construction of the three towers was that one portion was straight and the other was curved. These portions had to support each other. If not built correctly, the weight of the curved portion might break the straight portion. To implement this, engineers came up with an innovative solution. Workers built each floor in just four days using concrete blocks. Steel cables were added inside the curved sections for extra strength. As the towers grew taller, temporary steel frames supported both buildings. On the 23rd floor, the curved and straight sections finally met. A giant steel truss was installed to permanently connect the two parts. One and a half years into the project, the construction of the three buildings was nearly complete. But one major element was yet to be constructed, the Sky Park. As engineers prepared to build it, they detected a major fault. The buildings were independent of each other, and during strong winds, they might sway. If the Sky Park was built regardless of this, the infinity pool could crack, and parts of the Sky Park might collapse. After months of brainstorming, engineers came up with a solution. They would use bridge engineering technology to create movement joints in the sky park. This would allow it to absorb up to 250 millimeters of movement, keeping it safe despite the sway of the buildings. Despite the delay, Marina Bay Sands was finally completed in the year 2010 standing as a monument to the determination of thousands. Today, it hosts millions of visitors and is one of the world's most iconic structures.